you to take a look at this right here. These are just three of seven vehicles that the owner of Extra Mile Automotive said were intentionally set on fire overnight. He says this act of vandalism is a punch in the gut. Paul Dizaroth is looking for answers. Why? I just want to know why somebody would do something like that. This after he said someone intentionally set seven vehicles on his lot along Josephine Street on fire. Surveying the damage is heartbreaking for Deza Roth. Those vehicles charred, windows busted. It looks like seven total losses, uh, three, three of which uh, were prepared to be sold. So they were in working condition and um, now they're not. <laughs> They're, gar they're scrap. Pittsburgh police say an officer on patrol spotted the fire shortly before 1.30. Dizaroth said he has owned this business for 13 years, but it's been in the family for 40. He said this isn't the first time his business has been targeted by vandals, but this is the worst. He said he tries to help his customers, and what happened overnight is devastating. These aren't good times, at, you know, for, for any of us uh, in this business. You know, it's really slow. People are having a tough time, you know, getting their cars fixed, and we try to help people down here. While police look into possible arson, Dizaroth said he'll try to salvage what he can from the damaged cars and hopes whoever did this is caught and the vandalism stops. It's a kick in the stomach. It really hurts. The owner and police are asking anyone who might have any information about this crime to give them a call. Reporting in Southside Slopes, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.